Hello everyone, this is Lorraine and today I'm coming to you with my um, with a product demo. Um, it's the Garnier Skin Renew Dark Spots Treatment Mask. Um, and it's a 10 minute mask, 10 minute tissue mask. It's supposed to hydrate, boost radiance, smooth and revitalizes. Has vitamin C. This packet contains one mask and I want to say this was about maybe three dollars or something like that at Walgreens. So basically it had tells you for the problem you have dark spots dullness uneven skin from a number of sources are one of the most difficult problems to fight a general yet effective treatment can sometimes be hard to find a solution skin renew introduces dark spots tissue mask a 10 minute 10 minute gentle facial mask with vitamin C that leaves skin intensively hydrated for 24 hours and brightens for smooth radiant skin that feels refreshed and revitalized. This translucent tissue mask with breakthrough stretch to fit technology acts as a second skin. Smoother and better adherence to the natural contours of the face for maximum comfort and effectiveness. So cleanse and dry face which I've already um, cleaned my face. Um, gently place mask on face and adjust around eyes nose and mouth after 10 minutes remove mask and massage remaining product into skin in one use of the results in one use instant radiance plus 24 hour hydration in just two weeks skin is brighter and more even when mask is used three times per week <clears throat> for optimal re results on dark spots used together with dark spot corrector and dark, dark spot overnight peel. I didn't know Garnier had a peel. So dermatologists tested for safety. Safety ophthalmologist tested. Non-greasy, gentle on skin, allergy tested, non-comedogenic. So. <laughs> oh, bless me. Excuse me. Oh, so let's just go ahead and get this started. Um, so here is the mask. It just comes in this like foil pouch. Wow, this is very much hydrated. This is like saturated in um, the serum. So hopefully this will really work. Um, again, this is my first time using a um, seriously using a sheet type mask. So I'm trying to be careful just because I don't want to rip it because it's like all folded up and with it being so wet trying to find the right edges ugh, we really have to make it okay so here is the mask obviously there's no particular um, side in which to apply it oh my goodness this is like driving me this is why I just stick to the regular um, um, clay mask. So let me. Okay, so finally. Oh, God. I mean, I guess you want it totally saturated so that the product actually works and gets on your skin. But, jeez, and rice, does it have to be. Okay, so here we go. Oh my god. So let me smooth that out afterwards. So this doesn't become like me fiddling with this for like ever. So let's see. It is, I guess, pretty stretchy, so let's wanna make sure that it gets adhered. And I wanna yeah, get this off of like close to my eye. I mean just the and it's a nice fresh clean um scent. Nothing too harsh. But I will say, like, 
this part that was really close to my eye before I adjusted it, oh, got on my lips, was um, kind of um, like my eye was feeling like it was about to water, like the, um, the whatever is in the mask was kind of making my eye water. So I guess if you have really sensitive eyes, you may want to be careful about that. Oh, God, it's like all over my lip, bottom lip. So, I mean, and then also, I feel like even though it does adhere nicely to the other areas, this area right here around the nose, like if you have dark spots like through here, might be, I guess, problematic just getting it to here right there. Um, as, as you can see, this part kind of bubbles up. I mean, I guess you can kind of press it and play with it for a little bit to get it to... Um, stick down all the way and I don't think they made the mouth hole like big enough wide enough because if you're someone who has like really full lips this like as you can see this is like right at the corner of my mouth and it's not like once it's laid down it is like literally still touching like the corner of my mouth here so if you're someone who has like really really full lips or a wider mouth this is going to kind of be on your lips so just an FYI other than that um, so it's adhered it's sticking so you just kind of have to smooth it out and again this area right here I guess if you're not talking it won't be an issue so okay so that is the actual mask so I'm going to let this sit on my face for 10 minutes come back for the removal so I will be back in 10 bye Okay, so I am back and it actually has been actually a little bit over 10 minutes. It's been about 12 minutes that I've had um, this mask on. So let me just go ahead and remove these. Um, let me take my rings off first before I rub um, rub the product in. And just an FYI, if you didn't know, if you have white gold rings, like when you're cleansing your face and things like that, you should definitely take your rings off because it will kind of like turn it, the whiteness won't be as bright. So just an FYI. So, okay, I'm just going to peel this off and I will say, I mean, it does have a nice kind of cooling feel on the skin. Um... I probably should have made sure my hair was out of the way, but anyway, so just a one-time use mask, so I'm just going to put it back in here and throw it away just so I don't leave it out. There's quite a bit of product still left actually inside of the packaging, so if you were, because uh, it says to rub in the remaining product into your skin. I mean, it felt nice on the skin. The paper of the mask, as you can see, as you saw, did not dry up. It did remain um, saturated and moisturized throughout the process. It was, it did dry up somewhat, but not to the point where like other, like a regular clay mask, like totally dries and stiffens. It actually um, dried slightly, like the as the um, product is absorbing into your skin, it's pulling it from the mask, the tissue mask, so it isn't as saturated as when I first put it on my face, of course. So, of course, you can't really see. I mean, um, I don't know. So, this is the mask. The product is rubbed in. It rub it in as much as I could it um, has like a kind of sticky feeling on the skin right now 
I'm hoping that that will kind of absorb into the skin after a few minutes or so. I don't know if that, like, if that is what's going to cause your skin to kind of look brighter, like the packaging says, packaging says. Um, but, I don't know, I'm not too fond of the stickiness that is left behind, could be because I add it more from the inside of the package but I still feel like even without doing that it would have been kind of sticky on the skin so hopefully that will like go away but um so that is the mask um we'll see how well it works and it's still like still pretty saturated even you know I could probably squeeze some product out of here yeah, I mean, that is like, I almost feel like I should just wipe <laughs> the product onto my face just so not to waste any. Although, which probably means my skin is going to be even more um, um, sticky feeling. But since it is only a one-time use product, I do want to get as much out of it so there you have it I guess you will see in my next video if my skin looks any um, brighter I do have some stuff from Julep coming in the mail as well as a couple things from Hope Look although I don't know how soon the products from Hope Look will be here um, last time it took maybe just under a week or so before it got no it took about a little over a week to get here so anyway so that's the mask um fairly easy to apply other than the unfolding of the actual tissue mask it was it's like a kind of like a cloth like material so it's not as fragile as it may look so it's kind of like a I guess like a um, the thickness and the feel of almost like a Clorox or the Lysol wipes that you get in the little tub that are already pre-moistened. It's kind of that thickness, so it is strong enough to where it's not going to easily rip, and it does have a little give. Um, other than the folding part, that's the only annoyance that I felt like was there. Well, one of the annoyance. The other annoyance is just the stickiness that it leaves behind so hopefully this will absorb into the skin so anyway that is the demo of the product and we'll see if it makes my skin look brighter tomorrow so just follow me on instagram so thanks for watching stay polished at all times and have a great day bye